First at Five, from the University of Florida's College of Journalism and Communications, you're watching WUFT News. In Stark, Florida, cars are bumper to bumper as everyone begins to try out a new road design to ease congestion on Highway 301. And how senators from Florida are hoping to encourage more donations to rebuild the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian. That's our top story. I'm Maria Roberts. And I'm Carl McGraw. After Hurricane Dorian left the Bahamas devastated, Florida U.S. Senators are leading the efforts to support the islands in any way. You're watching WUFT TV News. For the first time leading the Democratic presidential contenders, um, those are share, they shared a stage last night at, at a debate in Texas. The candidates debated over a wide range of topics, including tariffs on China, immigration, and gun reform. But the most important topic, health care costs. It was the first time Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren and former Vice President Joe Biden debated on the same stage. My plan for health care costs a lot of money. It costs $740 billion. It doesn't cost $30 trillion. It's National Peanut Day, Quan. Are you team crunchy or team creamy? Well, you know, it's all about a crunch. But by the way, kids, those who have peanut allergies could soon pick a side. The FDA is reviewing a new drug aimed at treating peanut allergies in children. And the drug is called Palforzia and it could work by exposing kids to pharmaceutical-grade peanut protein. Before we go, one last check on the weather. Thanks, Henry. BBC World News is next, and the PBS NewsHour is coming up at 7. Our news team will bring you another show next Monday at 5, but your Florida's news is always on at WUFT.org. Have a good night.